Hello, can I add a Montessori? And welcome to video one of conducting the baton. So, you might not have a baton at home or wherever you are right now, but there's a couple things I think you can use. You can use a knitting needle, pen or a pencil, a chopstick, a paintbrush, one of the, th with the, one of the thin ends, one of the round thin paintbrushes. So I suggest you go and find something so that we can start learning about holding the baton and conducting. Now there are several ways to hold the baton. I'm going to show you a couple and then I'm going to show you how I prefer to do it. Uh, there's a couple grips. One is, uh, some call it the light grip or the soft grip. They hold the baton and it comes out with their hand like that. Let's see how it there's the shape of my arm like that. I don't necessarily use this very much. I might, but see how it creates other angles in my, in my arm. I've seen some people hold it like this, like a pencil. I don't rec I don't recommend that because then it, it creates a lot more angles. And then we want to be as clear as possible for all the musicians that are, that we are leading, that are trying to follow us. So we want to make everything as clear as it possibly can be. So I, how do I hold my baton? Well, I hold my baton between my thumb, the tip of my thumb, and the side of my finger. Let's see if you can see it there. And I keep my fingers around here. I don't want to keep other fingers out like that because that creates other points for, for people to follow. The musicians, we want to give one spot, one point of clear direction for our musicians to follow. So. I keep my fingers closed. I don't, I don't squeeze hard because I don't want to create more tension than there needs to be. It will, it, the, too much tension will not let us communicate accurately. So I hold my baton like this and I try and make sure that there aren't many angles, that it's sort of as straight a line as it can be from my uh, elbow out to the tip of my baton. So I mentioned before a lighter grip and the grip that I like, like to use, a very firm grip like this. Could we use those two grips in the same piece of music? Absolutely. If we're trying to communicate something and we can, we can change our grip to communicate that, then that's very appropriate. So let's take something very famous like uh, Ein Klein and Nock music by Mozart. We start out, ba, 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 and later on we have uh, You see how the style of music changed? Or uh, Richard Wagner with the Ride of the Valkyries. See the firm grip. See the firm grip. Or another piece of music that he composed. Ba -da, ba -da, ba -da. So go grab yourself a baton of some sort and start practicing. Start figuring out how you're going to hold it.